Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the California Angels and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Angels today is Jim McLaughlin, whose record is 10-9 with a 3.48 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is Camilo Pasquale, whose record is 2-3 with a 5.02 ERA. Okay, we have now lost uh, four or five games, and well, I, I guess actually five of six games if you want to be technical about it. Uh, yesterday's game was a disaster. Uh, we gave up uh, five runs in the fourth inning yesterday, and we were down six to nothing, and the game was pretty much over. We did fight back because that's what the game dictates to happen, but uh, it was a done deal. And uh, we are, I mean, we are. Uh, in a position now that I, I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, when we have several good games in a row, they're immediately followed by seven, several te terrible games. And I continue to look at the Pythagorean, and I, we are right where we should be based on our run differential. I mean, we're batting 250. We have a 450 ERA. I mean, I think this is exactly what the game expects from us. Um, and so I don't know how to overcome that. I think with the players that we have, there's really not much more we can ask of them. I, I think we can all agree that Darren Johnson is probably cooked. Joe Pepitone seems to be flailing. Um, the only players that we're getting any real offensive value from are the sh Schlubby Schlubbersons, you know? And those are the guys that, uh, you know, probably shouldn't be getting 300 and 50 at bats a year you know so i don't really know what to do other than to continue to play out these string of games um and at the very least get us to the uh trade deadline which will take place at the end of the month here uh as you can see we have we are five games away from that at some point we will try to trade uh gene brabender one more time to see if we can't find anything of value that a value that can help us right now okay so that's the plan now, because we are on a terrible streak, um, I did think it would be fun uh, to get a new giveaway going. So we showed that off yesterday, um, and we'll just do a quick reminder here. Uh, these are the two cards that we are giving away uh, for this next giveaway that will take place in game 120 uh, during the seventh inning stretch. We're on game 103, so we've got a little ways to go. The second place prize is going to be this 1972 Topps. Uh, Billy Martin card, uh, a card that is in damn near mint condition. Uh, the corners are sharp. The color is good. Of course, it is off a little bit um, right to left. So, you know, if it's totally gradable in my opinion. I think it would probably come back at 8.5 or 9, uh, which is very good for a 1972 card. This is a famous card because it is the uh, flip in the bird card, as you can see down here uh, on the bat. So this is a highly collectible, um, you know, fan favorite type of card. And that will be the second place prize. And the grand prize for the contest is going to be uh, this 2021 Topps Ichiro uh, commemorative patch card. And the patch is not of the Seattle Mariners, but of the uh, Seattle Pilots. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. You can see the patch is uh, inset into this uh, uh, frame here. Uh, a very cool looking card and i will i will add a third prize if we can get 15 uh, uh participants in the uh, duck race so we've only got two so far we got lance b and don t they both signed up yesterday if you want in on this giveaway uh just be a subscriber and let me know in the comments below and we will uh include you on the list and we will um if we get to 15, we'll add a third prize. And I promise you it'll be something very good. Okay. Let's get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and, or subscribe to the channel. Camilo Pasquale will get the start. He's had some good success versus the Angels. They're betting 231 against him. All the bullpen is available with the exception of Bucky Brandon, who gave up a run yesterday in relief. He's uh, unavailable today. 
Here's our lineup versus Jim McLaughlin. Again, we're just trying to find the right uh, lineup uh, here with who we have available. I mean, there's a part of me that thinks because McLaughlin's a righty, maybe we need to get Don Bosch into the lineup somehow. Um, although he hasn't really shown us too much. But uh, I think we will save Bosch for pinch hitting. But instead of him being the first one off the bench, I think we need to save him for later. Um, and that way he can come in defensively for Pepitone. Something I've been thinking about. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown then for the California Angels. It is the same as yesterday. Batting leadoff in center field is Tom Silverio. Batting second and catching is Randy Brown. Batting third at third base is Kurt Bovacqua. Batting cleanup playing first base is Doug Howard. Batting fifth in right field is Bill Voss. Batting sixth in left field is Jay Johnstone. Batting seventh at shortstop is Marty Perez. Batting eighth at second base is Sandy Alomar. And batting ninth is the pitcher Jim McLaughlin. Of note, I pointed out yesterday that Voss was in right and Johnstone went from right field to left field. This appears to be their regular setup now versus right-handers. And that means our fan favorite, the general manager, Ethan Blackaby, is no longer in the lineup. He was the left fielder before... Uh, John Stone was moved over. Okay, we have uh, Camilo Pasquale on the mound. We'll take a look at him making his 15th start overall, 14th as a pilot. For us, he's 2-2 two two with a 5.31 ERA, 31 strikeouts in 62 and two-thirds, and he's pitched to poster betting 276 against him. Uh, doesn't really have much of a fastball left. Uh, it tops out at 88 miles an hour, but it's rated at 69, which is nice. But unfortunately, it's not even close to being league average. In fact, his best pitch is his curveball, and that is also below league average at 76. Overall, rated to 71, the 36-year-old righty is a free agent at the end of next year. Looking at his log, he did give us four very good innings versus the Royals. We did win that ball game. That might be the last one we won, actually. Um, and uh, he gave up only one hit, which is... Pretty damn solid. Okay, let's take a look at our defense. Well, we got Rodriguez at third and Ben Kelly at second. So those are our two best defensive infielders. Outfield is solid with uh, Pepitone and right behind the place. Once again is Man Mansan. I think it's Mansang? No, I know that sounds right, doesn't it? It's Manny Sandia. Okay, ho uh, Tom Silverio leading off versus Camilo Pasquale. Here we go. Let's get a win, man. Silverio popping up to second base. There's one down. Next man up is the camera shy Randy Brown. I've never been able to find any photograph of this guy. And yet, he's batting 324 in anonymity versus the right-handers. That's a ground ball to first. Two quick outs for Pasquale. And the third baseman, Kurt Bavacqua. Base hit in the center field. It can never go easily for us. Bavacqua on first. Here is Doug Howard. Leading the team in home runs with 12. Uh, make it 13. So the, the single and the home run, I mean, that's, it had to happen. That's the way the game had designed it. And we are pretty much done. We know that now. Everything happens with two outs in this game. So there's nothing to do now but just let the game play itself, really. There's a fly ball to that. So he gives up a walk and three hits, a two-run home run, and it's two to nothing. We'll go ahead and just do our lineup rundown. Batting leadoff, playing shortstop is Jerry Devanen. Batting second at second base is Van Kelly. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup at first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth at left field is Jose Cruz. Batting sixth in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting seventh at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting eighth is the catcher, Manny Sanguian. I want to say it again. 
And Batting ninth is Kenny Pasquale. We got Jim McLaughlin. He'll be the winner today, making his 24th start. 10 and 9. Look at that. He won 10 in three consecutive seasons. He's got a 348 ERA, 94 strikeouts in 168 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are betting 229, five complete games, and a shutout, which came in his last start. You'll see that momentarily. His fastball uh, tops out at 89 miles an hour. It is his secondary pitch. It's his curveball is his out pitch, rated in 85, overall rated in 81. The 26-year-old righty is a free agent at the end of the year. There's that complete game shutout versus the Royals with cheese. And if you noticed on the title card, he's won... Uh, six of his last seven decisions, uh, and that is in the last eight starts. He had a 2.78 ERA, so he's pitching really well right now. And that is the last thing we need. Take a look at their defense. This is a team that's good everywhere, uh, even with making those uh, outfield changes where John Stone moves over to left. He's still got one of the best arms in the game. And Voss, I think he's, he's got a 90 as well, yeah. So their outfield is strong. Their infield uh, gets the job done. And behind the plate is Randy Brown. He's got an 82-rated arm. Jerry Devannon. Not much I can say here. As Devannon leads off the game with a single. Van Kelly, technically a good hit-and-run guy. He's got an 88 rating for hitting and running. Oh, one count. Popping it up. Yeah. I mean... Couldn't even put it on the ground. He couldn't even get him moved up. So, I mean, there's really nothing that we're going to be able to do here today. I, I've already said that, but, I mean, we just have to take our loss and move on. So we go to the top of the second. Sandy Alomar will lead it off. It's a strikeout for Pasquale. He is still adding to his career strikeout total. I'll update that and see if he surpassed anybody else. I mean, he gets he pitches four innings. He gets two strikeouts maximum. He can't even strike out the pitcher. They get a double off him every time. McLaughlin grounds out to short. And Tom Silverio, two outs, goes for a home run. His seventh home run of the year. Three to nothing. Jose Cruz. Lead off man is on again. Doesn't matter. On the AG. He's our hottest hitter. That'll be a double play. Rubio Rodriguez. Fly ball to center. We may as well have AG try to steal. 71%. At least he could get in the scoring position with two outs. If not, then that's the way it goes. Well, he is successful. 23rd on the year. 16 caught stealing. Send in. Line drive to right. And that is a hit. AG scores. Sanguian has become, I mean, he's in the number eight spot, of course. Um, not in three, four, five, fifth spot, but he's number eight spot, and he has been driving in a lot of runs. Pasquale, we may as well take him out, but I guess he's got to pitch at least two more innings. Here's Bavacqua. Now, keep in, also keep in mind, Pasquale um, did not give up any runs in his last start, so the game has got to make it up this time, and there's nothing we can do to stop that. That's a double. Howard's 14th double. And it's 4 to 1. Jay Johnstone popping it up. Marty Party Perez. Seven hits and four runs. There's two more off the wall. He walks the pitcher.
A leadoff man on for the third straight inning. Doesn't matter. Good job by Kelly. Hit and run. So I did even put the damn hit and run on that time, and he gets a single going to third. It's like, <laughs> if, why even you have these in here? None of this work. None of it works. None of it means anything. Now we'll have the hit and run on, and he pops it up. This game sucks so bad. It serves no purpose. Popping it up with first and third, no, uh, with one out. Our RBI guy hasn't had the RBI in 10 games. God, this game is just for morons, which is why I'm playing it. Yeah, they give an unearned run. That's the only way we can score. Doesn't affect McLaughlin's ERA. Bottom of the fourth. Okay, we'll take out Pasquale. So, I mean, they only give you the um, ability to, to go to second when it's a, a, a defender who has a very high arm rating. They want you to get thrown out. There was a 30% chance if this guy over here had a 72 arm, they wouldn't even offer it. He'd either go on his own or he would just be a, it would just be a single. So they're not even really giving you an option, a, a, a reasonable option. It's just an option so that you can make a mistake. I mean, the mistake is spending money on buying this game. That's where the mistake begins. Here's Rich Rollins. We probably should just hit and run here, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Pinch hit strikeout, great job game. And then a fly ball to hit center field. Jack DeLaurel. That's a good pitch. Stupid freaking game, man. Dumb on all levels. Lead off man on again. Five innings in a row. Again. 83 arm. His arm is actually higher than an 83. I don't know. I guess it's your, how much you spent on scouting. Um, would give you maybe a more accurate rating. But the ratings don't matter anyway. So, like, there's no way to know. And why are all these dropping in? It makes no sense. Why can Jay Johnstone suddenly not get to it? All right, bases are loaded. Who cares? Double play, we'll get the run. Go on contact if Tommy Ag could make contact. Get two in, right? No. Well, no, they want us to get thrown out, so we're not going to do that. We will hit and run with uh, Rodriguez. That is something he does well, but it'll be a pop-up or a strikeout throw him out. Yeah. Fly ball into right center field. That should be deep enough. Oh, they're gonna make us make a decision. With two down, we'll try to steal second again. And he's caught on a fastball with it's rated 86. Or I'm um, sorry, my 86 miles an hour. Makes no sense. Well, we pulled it within one. That's as close as they're gonna give us. We'll bring in a Ramon. Jim McLaughlin will lead it off. And he walks the damn pitcher 
for the second time today. Unbelievable. Can't turn two. Why would that happen? Off the end of the bat. First and third. Doug Howard's already got a home run. Infield single. Great job, game. Awesome. Makes total sense. What happened here? Did the game just die? That would have been great. That would have been cool, man. Let's go ahead and bring in Bosch now. It don't matter. At least Bosch has got three hits finally. Man, I don't want to be bringing Riddleberger in. Let's um, bring Fred Gladding in. We moved him out of the closer role. He got torched. Yay. So Gladding must be done. He can't get anybody out anymore. Certainly can't turn double plays anymore. Not even offering to go to second. Pepitone gets off the schneid. We're still going to lose, like, so don't even bother thinking that there's any positive going to come of this. Johnson hasn't had, what, one hit in the last six games? Fred Gladding coming out. Now we bring in Riddleberger. Whoa, Riddleberger. Firing BBs. Get him! Yeah, strikes up the side. That's the highlight of the game. Riddleberger, MVP of the game for sure. Let's take a look at the in game stats. Yeah, everybody's got a hit, except for Johnson. Well, I guess Rodriguez, who's up right now. All the leadoff guys are getting on. Oh, that's a foul ball down the left field line. That'd be an error if it was us in the field. Give the rim. Oh, Del Rimple! <laughs> it's the Schlepps coming through with the home run to left center field. His first of the year, and the game's tied. This is going to be a very tough defeat when it happens. Um, yeah, why not bring in Del Rimple on defense? He's technically better. Fielding percentage is basically the same. All right. Um, yeah, we need... Okay, well, well, you know what? Here's um, Ray Peters' second chance in his first uh, career appearance. He took the loss. I expect nothing less than that. Round ball to short. Jay Johnstone. Yeah, ball is short. Marty Perez. There we go. That's good. We've got to get to the pitcher, right? Okay, it's not. okay McLaughlin. Oh, they're going to bring in Ken Tatum anyway. Well, it's uh, Van Kelly. He's three for four today. Had some success versus Tatum. 
Oh, we're going to win this ball game. We don't even deserve it. Pepitone hit his 19th home run last time up. Flies out. Darren Johnson. Base hit. There we go. Johnson tried to get off the Schneid. I mean, he had to get a hit in order to get to Cruz. This is the ball game right here. Full count. Pilots win 9-8. It's a double off the wall. Can't even be excited about it. Uh, although I'm grateful for a win. So stupid. This game is absolutely the worst. Hey, we got 98 home runs. We, we only had one home run today, though, right? Or did we have two? I guess we'll find out. Uh, there's the American League. There's the National League. Uh, we'll take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Data Beat. Jeff James holds Houston to one hit. That's a tough thing to do. Oh, the Orioles are losing McNally for a month or so. We'll take a look at him here. Here's the transactions. McNally, uh, 33 days. That's going to hurt their rotation. Sal Campisi is going to miss. Let's look at Baltimore's rotation. They are battling it out right now with the Yankees. I think it showed they were tied. So he's going to be gone for a month, and they're bringing up Marcelino Lopez, a left-hander. He's got a good rating, a better rating than Barnowski, uh, who hasn't pitched in the majors since 1967. And yet, he does have a baseball card for 1970. So he must have did something right. We'll keep our eye on that. That might give uh, the Yankees the edge. They don't have anybody else that they could put in there. Oof, they got a 61. Okay. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. We won 9-8. to eight. Maybe that's my reward for giving away prizes. Um... Oh, Ray Peters, he's been in two games. He's got two decisions. Player of the game's going to Denny Riddleberger. We did have two home runs. Pepitone, I forgot about that. We're going to give the player of the game to Riddleberger. He came in. He held him down. Allowed us to tie the game up and then win it in the ninth inning. Uh, he um, struck out the side. And that was probably the most exciting thing that's happened to us in a while. Van Kelly did have four hits. Scored three runs. Johnson did nothing. Pepitone and Cruz did have two RBI each. Uh, something to be said. Uh, Jim McLaughlin will take the loss. Gives up eight runs. Seven are earned. Ken Tatum takes the loss. Um, they had four extra base hits. Okay, that's it. Uh, okay, so don't forget, we are giving away stuff. There's some stuff right here. Don't forget that. Um, like and or subscribe to the channel. Be a subscriber. Let me know in the comments you want to get in on the prizes. If we can get up to 15 uh, people entered, I'll add another prize. That's what I'll do. How you like that? you love it. Okay, uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow with Game 3 of the series. Until then, everyone, have a great day.